We're in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. My name is Andrew Bailey, Flex Rocks and Rollovers, and we are spotlighting the old Jeep today. So this is an 84 CJ7. It has a four link front, four link rear. It's on tons. So it's got a Kingpin 60 in the front, a 14 bolt in the rear. It's got a 383 Chevy. It's fuel injected. It's got a turbo 400 transmission. It has a stacked Dana 300 transfer case, which is like an aluminum housing uh, Dana 300. Tom Wood shafts, KC highlights, the Goodrich tires, some badass KMC wheels. Got to have them 20 twink twink twinks. Um, yeah. So um, what have you done to it since you got it, since you took it over basically? Like I, I know it gone through some quite some transformations. So yes. what so uh it was set up for 40s, um it's kind of dated, it was built mid 2000s early 2000s. through obviously we put all new paint on it it had a super like power boat looking paint job on it and we rocked it for a while man it was it yeah. was just old school dirty 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 and uh it's kind of funny i was having a conversation with a guy named adam woodley the other day he was wide open design and we we're laughing about he's got some old school stuff on his rig and he's like i don't want to change it and i'm like no nah, i don't either man because you know it's kind of got that nostalgia but um i've updated the psc system put a new pump new ram on it um went ahead and put a new cooler on it got some updated stuff there this has hydro boost, so it's kind of tricky with the old school reservoir. I need to update that still. Um, new wheels, tires, RCV axle shafts, of course. Um, I went through all new bearings and seals. Everything's been repacked and new. Went through all the wiring. We did all the wiring in it. Uh, went through and redid the bumps because the coilovers were getting to the bumps. Um, set them up for 42s. Cut the whole front end off and redid every bit of the tubing up here. Actually, all this is structural to the cage and to the engine cage and the coilovers and so kind of redid all that put some fancy ass rock lights on it everything in the thing was from like literally 2001 lots of maintenance man and like i said let's I'm, walk around it let's see yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah, see yeah, what yeah. we got so, so so over here obviously the um, whole new frame structure that you can see it's pretty badass and who did all the work the tube work and all that so it was me and brent um brent did a lot of it and then actually he kind of bent the whole front end one morning i kind of woke up and it was already there and so i weld i tack welded it all up and put it together we added some different stuff to it and like we cut so there was a, a basically the tubing fender came out through here and it was just not nearly enough clearance for these big 42s um so we cut all this off redid this piece redid this little piece here all of this is all brand new every bit of it's been cut off and redone um i do have a new winch for it i haven't put it on yet it's too busy with my day-to-day -day job but yeah all that was done we obviously cut the hood because we wanted to you know kind of complement the lines and kind of update the look a little bit this is a cj7 it's got a fiber concepts uh front clip on it so this is a tj hood and a tj grill but it's all fiberglass like that's just a little thin piece of fiberglass it's not an actual grill this is all kind of set up like a buggy man if we go back here said rcv shafts in the front i'm running stocks in the rear it's really hard to break a 14 bolt shaft i mean it really is yeah. some people will tell you otherwise but i haven't it's got just an old art car shifter old school racing seats nothing crazy nothing nothing insane i put a ram mount on the inside um for the phone one of those x brace ones yeah, that's actually the <laughs> thing i like these things it's the smallest things in the world yeah. and they make them the biggest difference. the freaking cup holder too man like that makes dude like, it like ro rotates and stuff so it's super you know obviously people will be like oh that's molly but man it's it's great when you're off road and your drink's not spilling everywhere and all over you yeah um, especially on an incline it's like a gimbal for your drink so <laughs> correct but we redid all the fox bumps all the way around um all new brake lines just maintenance stuff man mainly but i mean it was a you know it's a built and proven rig by a great company i mean Randy and those guys built some just really insane stuff, but we are just able to update it a lot, man, yeah. and get it kind of into the, you know, new millennia. Sway bar front and rear? No, sway bar rear um, only. The front doesn't have a sway bar, limit straps all the way around. And they were actually all good. They were all set right, which is kind of funny, but the bumps just weren't. It's just been a work in progress, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna LS swap it this winter. It's got oh, a yeah? really, really nice 383 in it. Let's and... go, Nick, pop the hood for me. <sighs> That's a lot of work, but we can do oh, it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah go on, screw it. Okay, we can make it happen. Mm 
basically it's just a small block Chevy. Um, it's a 3.3. The guy that owned it for me owned a machine shop, so he took really, really good care. And the building of the engine, it runs like a champ, man. Um, you'll see the Dolstein coilovers front, the resis. It's got a really old school, like the first ARB compressor ever made. Um, this is a FI Tech fuel injection system, Sanderson headers. It's real simple, man. Um, aluminum radiator, shroud, um, just a big stock aluminum, uh, you know, four core regular radiator, hydro boost braking, Optima battery. The wiring is not the prettiest under this hood, but a lot of this is just rock light wiring, which is crazy. People will be like, what the hell is that? It's rock light wiring. So yeah, dude, like I said, it's, it's built like a buggy, man. It's really strong. It's a great Jeep, man. It's been really dependable Please. for the most part. Um, once we kind of, you know, gave it a little love, it had just been driven. It came from Farmington, New Mexico. It's it lived there all its life, I believe. So uh, it's kind of funny, telltale signs, obviously, you know, stripping stuff down, repainting stuff. But, you know, we recut the armor in the rear. You know, we've just done a lot of stuff to it. But And, I mean, it's been through Hell and Back twice now. Yeah, two Hell and Backs. Well, it oh, kind of didn't finish the last Hell and Backs. I completely broke my steering column, like the whole outside shaft. So the inner shaft was still in there and it was holding the steering wheel, but it was just flopping like crazy. So yeah. what's funny about that is, is when I got back, my wiring, it had started getting in my wiring. So like when the Jeep was sitting there one day, my one of my techs came out and he was like, hey dude, um, the Jeep's on, but it's not on. And uh, it was shorting out already. So I was so thankful I got that thing off the trail in time. It's been everywhere and it's never let me down. I'm not unhappy with it at all, man. I, uh, I'm super happy with it, actually. It's been through a few tire changes since I've had it. I've had two, I've had four sets of tires and a couple sets of wheels. And which on ones it. are your favorite? Okay, so obviously, <laughs> no, I mean, realistically, like, drop some knowledge, right? Like, so this came with K spec stickies on it, which are like unobtainium. People love them. I never ran them with it, so I don't know a lot about those tires, but everybody really rants and raves about them. And then, I put on a set of 40 inch sticky trips, which I had received from a customer in trade. So they were like brand new, man. So I ran them for a while and I just decided I didn't want a one ton Jeep on 40s. So bottom line. And uh, I swapped those off and I set of Mickey stickies on it, uh, the Baja Pro X's and they did fine for the first Helen back. They didn't bother me at all, but then I put the BF Goodrich on there. And so sticky tires are like a leg up in all, always former fashion. I can't really say anything bad about anybody's sticky tires. I've ran them all except for maybe pro comps over the years but i will tell you it's really insane how these tires get sticky like how they really really actually just lock down as soon as they even get remotely warm the king of sticky tires scott goforth one day we we're in his office and he's like cut a bunch of lugs off of tires and show me the differences in them and um these are i mean they're a winning tire for a reason man it's, cheater uh, tires is what they call they them super <laughs> cheater tires dude it's crazy it's really really insane it's awesome, pretty awesome man, man. Very cool. Well, thanks for showing us your Jeep. Now, thanks. let's go get some hot chicken, man. Yes. Bam. Hot chicken time. That was Andrew Bailey's introduction video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked the Jeep. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment. Let us know how you like the Jeep and what you want to see from us next time. So we're out. We're going to go eat some hot chicken and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.